In this video, we'll be discussing the open delta. The obvious first thing we would ask ourselves about the open delta is, what is it? Well, an open delta occurs in a delta transformer when a phase is removed for a particular reason. Most likely, it would be removed because it is damaged or that it needs to be maintenanced or replaced or something like that. An open delta still has three lines available, but the real power available is reduced compared to the normal closed delta situation. And the advantage of being able to remove one of these phases is that you can still supply power to the load and keep the system f functionally operating while being able to perform these uh, maintenance operations on it. Now the consequence of having the three lines connected and a phase removed is we'll still have the three outgoing lines and we'll have phase shift difference as shown there. But we will have an overall reduced power output available to the load. Now most of us, when we think of a transformer on a three-phase sy system, we think of it sort of as this circuit element, a singular piece of equipment that is just sort of attached to the lines. But in order to understand the open delta better, we need to get inside of the transformer on the three-phase system and understand what's happening sort of under the hood. So what is a three-phase transformer composed of? Well, it's composed of actually three single-phase transformers. And those single-phase transformers are composed of two inductors each. So one single phase transformer com is comprised of a pair of inductors. You can see these inductor pairs here in our diagram. Now when you look at this diagram as well, you can see that we are missing a pair of inductors on these phase legs. When you also look at this diagram, you see that we have in a sense two deltas, two open deltas um, as part of this transformer configuration that we're seeing here. And that's where we also get the alternate um, term for the open delta configuration, which is called a VV configuration. We had said that this open delta configuration yields a reduced power output. And this is an, a very vital element to understanding the open delta. In fact, if you're going to see open delta questions on the PE, most likely it, the PE question will have something to do with the nature of how much power has been reduced or something along those lines. So when we hear about the reduced power output, most of us hear two percentages that are given. One is 58 percent and one is 87 percent. And now we need to understand what those two percentages come from and their significance. A sort of obvious way to think about the reduced power output would be that if you have three legs on this transformer, and you have taken one phase leg out, it should be two-thirds the total power output, or 66 percent. But we see, obviously, that our reduced power output is not 66 percent. So let's keep that concept in our back pocket, and as we dig into these percentages, we'll see why it isn't two-thirds power. So what do these two percentages really represent? Let's talk about the 58 percent first. It is 58 percent of what? Well, it's 58 percent of the power output of the rated values of a complete closed delta properly functioning. So the open delta is 58% of its closed delta matching counterpart. The 87% signifies 87% of the power output of the two single phase transformers when considered in sort of their ideal state in isolation from one another. So it's almost like if you were to remove those two transformers and just add their sum total power output potential together, you would get 87% of that power output from a open delta. Make sure you understand those two percentages and have them ready as a reference for the test because, it, like we said, if you are going to be asked an open delta question on the PE, most likely you're going to have to bring into your calculations the 58% or the 87%. Now, why do we not have that simple two-thirds or 66% power output that would seem to be such an obvious um, idea for an open delta? 
Well, the reason why is this power output is actually the real power that we're talking about. These percentages are real power output. We're talking about watts here. In a normal closed delta situation on a three-phase system, the currents inside the transformers have a standard phase shift of 120 degrees. In an open delta, you're getting three-phase power, in a sense, with two phases. Something really odd is happening here. So something with our phase shift is going weird. We don't have the normal efficiencies of the three phases operating. And so there's some odd shift. Something odd is happening. Now, we're getting the same voltage output. And so something strange has had to have happened with the current. We have the same voltage angles, but there's a phase shift in the current going into the transformers. And that phase shift is a factor of 30 degrees. Well, what happens when your current is shifted relative to the voltage? Let's look at our power equation to find out. And here we see our old friend, the square root of 3. And what is the square root of 3 over 2? Well, bring out your calculators, and you'll find out that it is 87%. So the two inductors, when configured together, only have a maximum output of real power of 87%. And this is due to our phase shift. That demonstrates our 87%, but what about are 58 percent. Where do we get that from? If you consider the total power produced by a closed delta, it will be three times the power of each of the individual transformers. How many transformers do we have on an open delta? We have two. The maximum power we can get from those transformers, as we saw, is root 3 over 2, which will yield root 3 vi. Now we look at what the ratio is between the open delta and the closed delta. Which gives us 1 over root 3. And if you put that in your calculator, you see 58%. So there are our steps to derive both the 58% and the 87%. So this is your open delta. And what we've gone over here is just about everything you would most likely need to know for your PE. Full-length power PE style practice exams now available for purchase online.